FDA warning, suicidal thoughts and actions This drug has a boxed warning. This is the most serious warning from the Food and Drug Administration, FDA, alerts doctors and patients about drug, show more what is Prestique. Prestique is a brand name prescription drug that's used to treat major depressive disorder, MDD, in adults. This condition is a serious mental health condition. It's often called clinical depression, or simply depression. Prestique belongs to a class of antidepressants called serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, SNRIs. A class of drugs is a group of medications that work in a similar way. SNRIs increase the level of two chemicals, serotonin and norepinephrine, in your brain. Prestique comes as extended release tablets that are taken once a day. It's available in three strengths, 25 mg, 50 mg, and 100 mg. Effectiveness Prestique has been found effective at treating depression in several clinical studies. The studies used a scale to measure how severe people's depression symptoms were before and after treatment. The scale used is called the Hamilton Rating Scale for Depression, HAMD. This scale has a minimum score of 0 points and a maximum score of 52 points. Higher scores indicate more severe depression symptoms. In four clinical studies, Prestique was effective in improving people's depression scores compared to a placebo treatment with no active drug. Prior to treatment, people's average depression scores ranged from 23.0 and 25.3 for all four studies. After eight weeks of treatment, people taking Prestique from 50 mg to 400 mg per day, had their depression score lowered by up to 3.3 points. Two longer-term studies that lasted up to 26 weeks were also done. These studies showed that people taking Prestique were also less likely to have their depression relapse, come back after improving, compared to those taking placebo. Prestique generic Prestique contains the active drug ingredient desvenlafaxine succinate. Generic forms of Prestique are available. These forms come in the same strengths that Prestique does. Generic drugs are usually less expensive than their brand name form. Prestique side effects Prestique can cause mild or serious side effects. The following lists contain some of the key side effects that may occur while taking Prestique. These lists do not include all possible side effects. For more information on the possible side effects of Prestique, talk with your doctor or pharmacist. They can give you tips on how to deal with any side effects that may be bothersome. More common side effects The more common side effects of Prestique can include nausea, dry mouth fatigue, lack of energy, dizziness, sweating, constipation, reduced appetite, sleepiness, avoid driving until you know how Prestique affects you, insomnia, trouble sleeping, anxiety, sexual problems. In men, such as reduced sex drive or trouble getting an erection most of these side effects may go away within a few days or a couple of weeks. If they're more severe or don't go away, talk with your doctor or pharmacist. Serious side effects Serious side effects from Prestique aren't common, but they can occur. Call your doctor right away if you have serious side effects. Call 911 if your symptoms feel life-threatening or if you think you're having a medical emergency. Serious side effects and their symptoms can include the following. Suicidal thoughts and behaviors in children and young adults. Symptoms can include worsening depression thoughts about dying or harming yourself attempting suicide new or worsening anxiety or panic attacks feeling very agitated, restless, or unable to be still new or worsening insomnia, trouble sleeping being irritable, angry or aggressive extreme levels of excitement and activity, or talking very fast, which may all be considered symptoms of mania acting on impulses without thinking about the consequences serotonin syndrome, a dangerous condition caused by a buildup of serotonin in your body. Symptoms can include, fast heartbeat dizziness sweating flushing tremor or twitching stiff muscles loss of coordination nausea or vomiting diarrhea agitation hallucinations, seeing or hearing things that aren't real seizures coma new or worsened high blood pressure. Symptoms can include, 
headache, chest pain, bleeding more easily than usual. Symptoms can include nosebleeds, bruising easily, vomiting up blood, which may look red or pink in color, bloody stools, black colored stools, which may look like tar, closed angle glaucoma, sudden buildup of pressure inside your eye. Symptoms can include Seeing halos around lights, blurred vision, eye pain or redness, sudden severe headache and nausea, low sodium level in your blood, which is more likely in adults ages 65 years and older. Symptoms can include headache, trouble concentrating, problems with your memory, confusion, feeling weak and unsteady, which could lead to false hallucinations, fainting, seizures, lung problems, such as pneumonia or scarring in your lungs. Symptoms can include Trouble breathing, cuff, just discomfort, seizures. Symptoms can include uncontrolled muscle spasms, loss of consciousness, drooling, sudden eye movements, loss of bowel or bladder control, severe allergic reactions. Symptoms are discussed in more detail below. Pristique has a box warning from the FDA regarding the risk of suicidal thoughts and behaviors. A boxed warning is the strongest warning the FDA requires. It alerts doctors and patients about drug effects that may be dangerous. Side effect details You may wonder how often certain side effects occur with this drug, or whether certain side effects pertain to it. Here's some detail on several of the side effects this drug may or may not cause. Allergic reaction As with most drugs, some people can have an allergic reaction after taking Pristique. It's not known how often this occurs. Symptoms of a mild allergic reaction can include skin rash, itchiness, flushing, warmth and redness in your skin. A more severe allergic reaction is rare but possible. Symptoms of a severe allergic reaction can include swelling under your skin, typically in your eyelids, lips, hands, or feet swelling of your tongue, mouth, or throat trouble breathing. Call your doctor right away if you have a severe allergic reaction to Pristique. Call 911 if your symptoms feel life-threatening or if you think you're having a medical emergency. Weight loss or weight gain You may have weight changes while you're taking Pristique. But it's not known for sure if the drug causes those weight changes. Depression, which Pristique is used to treat, often affects your appetite. If you have depression, your body weight may increase or decrease. When treating depression, it's difficult to know if weight changes happen because your depression has improved, or if they're a side effect of the treatment you're using. One review looked at the effect Pristique had on body weight. The review looked at people who had taken Pristique in studies for two months, short-term studies, and nine months, long-term studies. People taking Pristique in the short-term studies had an average weight loss of 1.8 pounds. Those taking a placebo, treatment with no active drug, over the same length of time had an average weight gain of 0.11 pounds. People taking Pristique in a long-term study had an average weight gain of less than 2.2 pounds. The same result was seen in people taking a placebo during the study. Overall, the review found that less than 1% of people taking Pristique during clinical studies had a significant change in their weight. Also, the length of time, either short-term or long-term, that people used Pristique doesn't significantly affect weight changes. If you're concerned about weight gain or weight loss while you're taking Pristique, talk with your doctor. They can recommend tips for diet and exercise habits that can help you maintain a healthy weight during your treatment. Sexual side effects You may have sexual side effects while you're taking Pristique. Sexual problems often occur when taking antidepressants, including Pristique. In clinical studies, the following sexual side effects were reported by men using Pristique daily for 8 weeks reduced sex drive, which occurred in 4% of men taking 50 mg of Pristique 5% of men taking 100 mg of Pristique 6% of men taking 200 mg of Pristique 3% of men taking 400 mg of Pristique 1% of men taking a placebo, treatment with no active drug problems getting an erection, which occurred in 
3% of men taking 50 mg of Pristique 6% of men taking 100 mg of Pristique 8% of men taking 200 mg of Pristique 11% of men taking 400 mg of Pristique 1% of men taking a placebo-delayed ejaculation, which occurred in 1% of men taking 50 mg of Pristique 5% of men taking 100 mg of Pristique 7% of men taking 200 mg of Pristique 6% of men taking 400 mg of Pristique Less than 1% of men taking a placebo Sexual problems were also reported by some women taking Pristique daily for 8 weeks during clinical studies. Of those taking 50 mg or 100 mg of Pristique, 1% reported that they couldn't reach orgasm. The same problem was reported in 3% of women taking 400 mg of Pristique. There were no reports of this side effect in women who were taking 200 mg of Pristique or a placebo each day. If you have sexual problems while you're taking Pristique, don't be afraid to discuss them with your doctor. Sexual side effects are a common problem with many antidepressants. These side effects can improve over time. However, switching your treatment to a different antidepressant can sometimes help. Your doctor will recommend if switching medications is a good option for you. Insomnia Insomnia, trouble sleeping, is a symptom of depression. However, Problems with sleep were also reported in short-term clinical studies of Pristique. In those taking the drug daily for 8 weeks, insomnia was reported by 9% of people taking 50 mg of Pristique 12% of people taking 100 mg of Pristique 14% of people taking 200 mg of Pristique 15% of people taking 400 mg of Pristique 6% of people taking a placebo treatment with no active drug If you have insomnia during Pristique treatment, it may help to take your daily dose of the drug in the morning, instead of later in the day. If this doesn't help, talk with your doctor about your problems with sleep. Also, problems with sleep usually begin to improve in the first few weeks after starting Pristique, as the antidepressant starts to work in your body. If you continue to have problems sleeping after a few weeks of treatment, talk with your doctor about ways to improve your quality of sleep. Headache in short-term clinical studies that lasted 8 weeks, 2% of people taking Pristique stopped taking the drug due to headaches. A headache can be a symptom of more serious side effects of Pristique. These side effects include closed angle glaucoma, high blood pressure, and low sodium levels. If you get a sudden severe headache while you're taking Pristique, you should call your doctor right away. But if you get a more mild, typical type of headache, ask your pharmacist to recommend a medication to help relieve your pain. Sweating You may have increased sweating while you're taking Pristique. This side effect was seen in clinical studies of the drug. Of those taking Pristique daily, increased sweating was reported by 10% of people taking 50 mg of Pristique 11% of people taking 100 mg of Pristique 18% of people taking 200 mg of Pristique 21% of people taking 400 mg of Pristique 4% of people taking placebo treatment with no active drug night sweat specifically weren't reported in these studies. However, night sweats have been reported in people taking a very similar drug called venlafaxine. If you have increased sweating while you're taking Pristique, talk with your doctor. They can recommend ways to help manage this side effect. Diarrhea Diarrhea wasn't reported as a side effect of Pristique in clinical studies. However, diarrhea can be a symptom of serotonin syndrome which is a side effect that can occur with Pristique. Serotonin syndrome occurs when levels of a chemical called serotonin get too high in your body. This condition is more likely to occur if you're taking other drugs that also increase serotonin levels with Pristique. 
Other symptoms of serotonin syndrome include fast heartbeat, dizziness, sweating, flushing, tremor or twitching, stiff muscles, loss of coordination, nausea or vomiting, agitation, hallucinations, seeing or hearing things that aren't real, seizures, coma. If you have diarrhea along with any of these symptoms, call your doctor right away. They can recommend whether you need medical attention. Constipation You may have constipation while you're taking Pristique. This side effect was seen in short-term clinical studies of the drug. Of those taking Pristique daily for 8 weeks, constipation was reported in 9% of people taking either 50 mg or 100 mg of Pristique 10% of people taking 200 mg of Pristique 14% of people taking 400 mg of Pristique 4% of people taking a placebo treatment with no active drug if you feel constipated while taking Pristique, make sure you drink plenty of water and include high fiber foods in your diet. Doing gentle exercise, such as going for a walk, can also help ease constipation. As an added benefit, exercise is known to improve your mood and help relieve symptoms of depression. If you have constipation that's not improving with these measures, talk with your doctor. They can recommend ways to help treat this side effect. Hair loss You may have hair loss while you're taking Pristique. This side effect was reported by less than 2% of people taking Pristique in clinical studies. If you're concerned about hair loss, talk with your doctor. They may order tests to see why you're having hair loss, and they'll also recommend ways to help you manage this side effect. Suicidal thoughts and behaviors Some children and young adults have a higher risk of suicidal thoughts and behaviors while they're taking an antidepressant. Clinical studies found that this risk is higher in children, adolescents, and young adults, under 25 years of age. This risk is highest during the first few months of treatment and after any changes to dosage. Pristique is not approved for use in children, people under 18 years of age. While taking Pristique, call your doctor right away if you feel that your depression symptoms are getting worse. Have thoughts about dying or harming yourself. Three to harm yourself or attempt suicide. Have sudden changes in your mood, feelings, thoughts, or behavior, such as new or worsening anxiety or panic attacks, feeling very agitated, restless, or unable to be still new or worsening insomnia, trouble sleeping, being irritable angry, or aggressive extreme levels of excitement and activity, or talking very fast, which may all be considered symptoms of mania acting on impulses without thinking about the consequences suicide prevention if you think someone is at immediate risk of self-harm or hurting another person. Call 911 or your local emergency number. Stay with the person until help arrives. Remove any guns, knives, medications, or other things that may cause harm. Listen, but don't judge, argue, threaten, or yell. If you or someone you know is considering suicide, get help from a crisis or suicide prevention hotline. Try the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 800-273-8255. Pristique dosage The Pristique dosage your doctor prescribes may depend on a few factors, including how well your liver and kidneys work. The following information describes dosages that are commonly used or recommended. However, be sure to take the dosage your doctor prescribes for you. Your doctor will determine the best dosage to suit your needs. Drug forms and strengths Pristique comes as extended release tablets. It's available in three strengths. 25 mg, 50 mg, and 100 mg. Dosage for major depressive disorder The recommended starting dosage of Pristique is 50 mg taken by mouth once a day. It's best to take your dose at the same time each day. You should continue taking 50 mg each day for as long as your doctor recommends. The maximum dose of Pristique is 400 mg each day. If you have liver or kidney problems, your maximum dosage may be lower. However, Pristique dosages that are higher than 50 mg daily haven't been shown to be more effective. Higher doses of the drug are also more likely to cause side effects.
What if I miss a dose? If you forget to take a dose of Pristique at your usual time, take it as soon as you remember. However, if it's almost time for your next dose, just skip the missed dose. Then, take your next dose at your usual time. Don't take more than one dose of Pristique to make up for a missed dose. Doing this can increase your risk of certain side effects. To help make sure that you don't miss a dose, try setting a reminder on your phone. Medication timer may be useful, too. Will I need to use this drug long term? Pristique is meant to be used as a long term treatment. Clinical guidelines for depression treatment recommend that you keep taking your antidepressant for 4 to 9 months after your depression symptoms improve. Staying on treatment helps reduce your risk of depression coming back. In some people, depression is more likely to come back after they stop taking antidepressants. People at higher risk of this happening are those who've had several episodes of depression, or those with a family history of psychiatric illness. If you have these risk factors, it's recommended that you take antidepressants for a longer time before stopping the medications. This helps lower your risk of your depression coming back. If you and your doctor determine that Pristique is safe and effective for your depression, you may take the drug long term. Pristique uses the Food and Drug Administration, FDA, approved prescription drugs such as Pristique to treat certain conditions. Pristique may also be used off-label for other conditions. Off-label use is when a drug that's approved to treat one condition is used to treat a different condition. Pristique for major depressive disorder Pristique is FDA approved to treat major depressive disorder, MDD, in adults. MDD is another name for clinical depression. It's often just called depression. MDD is a serious mental health condition. With MDD, you may feel sad and hopeless over a long period of time. You may also feel irritable, anxious, tired, and lacking energy. As well as having these feelings, you may also have physical symptoms, such as trouble sleeping or changes in your appetite. These feelings and physical problems can have a significant impact on your daily life. Effectiveness for major depressive disorder Pristique has been found effective at treating depression in several clinical studies. The studies used a scale to measure how severe people's depression symptoms were before and after treatment. The scale used is called the Hamilton Rating Scale for Depression, HAMD. This scale has a minimum score of 0 points and a maximum score of 52 points. Higher scores indicate more severe depression symptoms. In four clinical studies, Pristique was effective in improving people's depression scores compared to a placebo treatment with no active drug. Prior to treatment, people's average depression scores ranged from 23.0 and 25.3 for all four studies. After eight weeks of treatment, people taking Pristique from 50 mg to 400 mg per day, had their depression score lowered by up to 3.3 points. Two longer-term studies that lasted up to 26 weeks were also done. These studies showed that people taking Pristique were also less likely to have their depression relapse, come back after improving, compared to those taking placebo. Pristique for other conditions in addition to the use listed above, Pristique may be used off-label. Off-label drug use is when a drug that's approved for one use is used for a different one that's not approved. And you may wonder if Pristique is used for certain other conditions. Pristique for menopausal symptoms, off-label use Pristique isn't approved to treat menopausal symptoms, but sometimes it's used off-label to treat menopausal hot flashes. Pristique can reduce how many hot flashes you have and how severe they are. One review of studies looked at people taking desvenlafaxine, the active drug in Pristique. These people had 55% to 69% fewer hot flashes with treatment than they had prior to treatment. 
If you're interested in using Pristique to treat menopausal hot flashes, talk with your doctor. They can discuss with you all of your treatment options and recommend which options are safest for you. Pristique for anxiety and social anxiety disorder, not an appropriate use Pristique isn't approved to treat anxiety or social anxiety disorder. One review looked at the effect that desvenlafaxine, the active drug in Pristique, had on anxiety symptoms in people with major depressive disorder. The review found that desvenlafaxine improved anxiety symptoms in people with depression much more than a placebo, treatment with no active drug, improved their symptoms. However, this doesn't mean that Pristique will be effective for treating anxiety that's not associated with depression. One small 12-week study looked specifically at using Pristique to treat social anxiety disorder. The study found that Pristique improved people's anxiety symptoms more than a placebo, treatment with no active drug, improved their symptoms. However, this study was small and only included 63 people. Larger studies are needed to know if Pristique would be effective in treating social anxiety disorder. Any other antidepressants, including venlafaxine, Efex or XR, are used to treat anxiety. Venlafaxine is very similar to desvenlafaxine, the active drug in Pristique. Venlafaxine is approved to treat generalized anxiety disorder, social anxiety disorder, and panic disorder. Pristique shouldn't be used to treat anxiety disorders until more studies have shown that it's effective for these conditions. If you're interested in taking Pristique to treat anxiety, talk with your doctor. They can recommend treatment options that are safe and effective to treat your anxiety. Pristique for OCD, not an appropriate use Pristique isn't approved to treat obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD. The drug's effectiveness for treating this condition hasn't been studied. Some other antidepressants are approved to treat OCD. With this condition, you may have obsessive, repetitive, thoughts that cause anxiety. You may do certain actions to help ease these thoughts and anxieties. If you're interested in taking Pristique to treat OCD, talk with your doctor. They can recommend treatment options that are safe and effective to treat your condition. Pristique for bipolar disorder, not an appropriate use Pristique isn't approved to treat depression caused by bipolar disorder. Bipolar disorder, formerly called manic depression, is a mental illness that involves episodes of depression, feeling sad or hopeless, and episodes of mania, having extreme levels of excitement and activity. People with bipolar disorder may have unstable moods over long periods of time. Antidepressants are sometimes used to treat depression caused by bipolar disorder. However, the antidepressants usually have to be taken in combination with a mood-stabilizing drug. Otherwise, taking antidepressants alone can increase your risk of triggering a manic episode. Before you're given Pristique to treat your depression, your doctor will check to make sure that you don't have bipolar disorder. If you do have bipolar disorder, your doctor may recommend other medications for you to take with Pristique. Pristique for pain, under study Pristique isn't approved to treat pain of any kind. However, some other antidepressants are approved to treat certain types of pain. Examples of these types of pain include nerve pain and fibromyalgia. With fibromyalgia, people have long-term, widespread pain in their muscles and bones. One study looked at people with diabetic neuropathy. This is a painful condition resulting from nerve damage in people with diabetes. The study found that Pristique, at a dosage of 200 mg or 400 mg each day, was more effective than a placebo treatment with no active drug, in relieving people's pain. Two other studies looked at people with fibromyalgia. 
These studies didn't find that Prestique was effective for relieving people's fibromyalgia pain. If you're interested in taking Prestique to treat pain, talk with your doctor. They can recommend treatment options that are safe and effective to treat your condition. Prestique withdrawal stopping Prestique suddenly can cause withdrawal symptoms. You shouldn't stop taking this drug abruptly. Examples of withdrawal symptoms that can occur if you suddenly stop taking Prestique include nausea, sweating, dizziness, headache, feeling irritable or agitated, anxiety, confusion, diarrhea, feeling pins and needles or having electric shock sensations, tinnitus, ringing or other noise in your ears, insomnia, trouble sleeping, abnormal dreams, dream or seizures. If you and your doctor decide that you should stop taking Prestique, it's best to stop the drug gradually. Doing so will help you avoid withdrawal symptoms. Your doctor will explain how to reduce your dose gradually when you are ready to stop treatment. Prestique and alcohol You shouldn't drink alcohol while you're taking Prestique. Drinking alcohol can increase your risk for having side effects from Prestique. These side effects include feeling sleepy dizziness having sexual problems. Drinking alcohol can also make your depression symptoms worse. If you drink alcohol, talk with your doctor about whether it's safe for you to continue drinking while you're taking Prestique. Alternatives to Prestique Other drugs are available that can treat major depressive disorder. Some may be better suited for you than others. Prestique belongs to a class of antidepressants called serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, SNRIs. A class of drugs is a group of medications that work in a similar way. Other SNRIs and drugs from other classes of medications are also available to treat depression. If you're interested in finding an alternative to Prestique, talk with your doctor. They can tell you about other medications that may work well for you. Examples of other antidepressant drugs that are used to treat major depressive disorder include other serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, SNRIs, such as, duloxetine, Cymbalta and Lefaxine, Effexor XR Lethal Mil Nasopran, Fetsima Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitors, SSRIs, such as, Citalopram, Celexa Acetalopram, Lexapro Fluoxetine, Prozac, Serafem, Salfemiproxetine, Paxil, Brisdel, Exceva sertraline, Zoloft tricyclic antidepressants, TCAs, such as, amitriptyline clomipramine, anaphranil dizipramine, norpramine doxepin, sinoquanamipramine, tofranil nortriptyline, camelorprotriptyline, vivactyl trimipramine, sermandyl minoamine oxidase inhibitors, MAOIs, such as, phenylzine, nardolisocarboxacid, marplantranylcypramine, parnate selegiline, and some other antidepressants such as, bupropion, welbutrin, forfivo, uplans and mirtazapine, remeron belazidone, vibrat vortioxetine, trintelix mapridilin and epizodinetrizodon, oleptro, prestique versus. Effects or XR You may wonder how prestique compares to other medications that are prescribed for similar uses. Here we look at how prestique and effects or XR are alike and different. About Prestique contains desvenlafaxine, while Effexor XR contains venlafaxine. Both drugs belong to a class of antidepressants called serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, SNRIs. A class of medications is a group of drugs that work in a similar way in your body. Desvenlafaxine and venlafaxine are closely related. Venlafaxine the drug in effects or XR, is metabolized, broken down, by your liver. One of the substances that's made during this process is desvenlafaxine, the drug in Prestique. Desvenlafaxine is known as an active metabolite of venlafaxine. When you take venlafaxine, most of the antidepressant effect in your body is actually produced by desvenlafaxine. Uses both Prestique and Effects or XR are approved to treat major depressive disorder, MDD, in adults. MDD is often called depression. 
Effexor XR is also approved to treat generalized anxiety disorder, social anxiety disorder, panic disorder drug forms and administration. Prestique comes as extended release tablets. It's available in three strengths, 25 mg, 50 mg, and 100 mg. Prestique is taken by mouth once daily. It should be swallowed whole, and it can be taken with or without food. Effects or XR comes as extended release capsules. It's also available in three strengths, 37.5 mg, 75 mg, and 150 mg. Effects or XR is taken by mouth once each day. Effects or XR capsules can be swallowed whole, or the capsules can be opened and sprinkled onto a spoonful of applesauce. The applesauce should then be swallowed without chewing, followed by drinking a glass of water to make sure the drug is completely swallowed. With either option, Effects or XR should be taken with food. Side effects and risks Prestique and Effects or XR are closely related. Therefore, both medications can cause very similar side effects. Below are examples of these side effects. More common side effects This list contains examples of the more common side effects that can occur with either Prestique or Effects or XR, when they're taken individually. Nausea, vomiting, sleepiness, insomnia, trouble sleeping, unusual dreams, sexual problems, reduced appetite, constipation, dizziness, sweating, anxiety, diarrhea, dream, mouth yawning, tremor, fast heart rate, serious side effects. This list contains examples of serious side effects that can occur with either Prestique or Effects or XR. When they're taken individually, suicidal thoughts and behaviors in children and young adults serotonin syndrome, a dangerous condition caused by buildup of serotonin in your body new or worse and high blood pressure bleeding more easily than usual closed angle glaucoma low sodium level in your blood lung problem seizure a severe allergic reaction prestique and effects or XR both have a boxed warning from the FDA regarding the risk of suicidal thoughts and behaviors. A boxed warning is the strongest warning the FDA requires. It alerts doctors and patients about drug effects that may be dangerous. Effectiveness Prestique and Effects or XR have different FDA-approved uses, but they're both used to treat major depressive disorder, MDD. 1. Review of clinical studies found that, in general, these two drugs had similar effectiveness for treating depression. Both drugs are recommended as MDD treatment options and guidelines from the American Psychiatric Association. Costs Prestique and Effects or XR are both brand name drugs. There are generic forms of both drugs available. Brand name medications usually cost more than generics. According to estimates on GoodRx.com, Effects or XR generally costs more than Prestique. The actual price you'll pay for either drug depends on your insurance plan, your location, and the pharmacy you use. Prestique versus Symbalta You may wonder how Prestique compares to other medications that are prescribed for similar uses. Here we look at how Prestique and Symbalta are alike and different. About Prestique contains desvemlifaxine, while Cymbalta contains duloxetine. Both drugs belong to a class of antidepressants called serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, SNRIs. A class of medications is a group of drugs that work in a similar way in your body. Uses both Prestique and Cymbalta are approved to treat major depressive disorder, MDD, in adults. MDD is often called depression. Cymbalta is also approved to treat generalized anxiety disorder diabetic peripheral neuropathy, painful nerve damage resulting from diabetes fibromyalgia, a long-term condition involving pain in your muscles and bones, and causing fatigue chronic musculoskeletal pain, long-term pain in your muscles and bones drug forms and administration Prestique comes as extended release tablets. It's available in three strengths. 25 mg, 50 mg, and 100 mg. Prestique is taken by mouth each day. It can be taken with or without food. Symbalta comes as delayed release capsules. It's available in three strengths, 20 mg, 
30 mg, and 60 mg. Symbolta capsules are typically taken once or twice a day. They can be taken with or without food. Side effects and risks Prestique and Cymbalta are both from the same class of drugs. Therefore, both medications can cause very similar side effects. Below are examples of these side effects. More common side effects This list contains examples of more common side effects that can occur with either Prestique or Cymbalta. When they're taken individually, nausea, anxiety, dream, mouth fatigue, lack of energy, sleepiness, insomnia, trouble sleeping, constipation, reduced appetite, dizziness, sweating, sexual problems in men, such as reduced sex drive or problems getting an erection, serious side effects. These lists contain examples of serious side effects that can occur with Prestique, with Cymbalta, or with both drugs, when taken individually. Can occur with Prestique lung problems, severe allergic reactions can occur with Cymbalta liver problems such as liver failure, orthostatic hypotension, a drop in your blood, pressure when you stand up that can cause you to feel dizzy or faint, severe skin reactions, urinary retention, difficulty urinating or not being able to urinate can occur with both Prestique and Cymbalta, suicidal thoughts and behaviors in children and young adults, serotonin syndrome, a dangerous condition caused by a buildup of serotonin in your body, new or worse and high blood pressure, bleeding more easily than usual, closed angle glaucoma, low sodium level in your blood, seizures, Prestique and Cymbalta, both have a boxed warning from the FDA regarding the risk of suicidal thoughts and behaviors. A boxed warning is the strongest warning the FDA requires. It alerts doctors and patients about drug effects that may be dangerous. Effectiveness Prestique and Cymbalta have different FDA-approved uses, but they're both used to treat major depressive disorder, MDD. These drugs haven't been directly compared in clinical studies. But separate studies have found both Prestique and Cymbalta to be effective for treating depression. Both drugs are recommended as MDD treatment options and guidelines from the American Psychiatric Association. Costs Prestique and Cymbalta are both brand name drugs. There are generic forms of both drugs available. Brand name medications usually cost more than generics. According to estimates on GoodRx.com, Prestique generally costs more than Cymbalta. The actual price you'll pay for either drug depends on your insurance plan, your location, and the pharmacy you use. Prestique overdose using more than the recommended dosage of Prestique can lead to serious side effects. Overdose symptoms Symptoms of an overdose can include fast heartbeat larger than normal pupils vomiting being unusually sleepy seizures heart rhythm change slow blood pressure dizziness muscle aches and pains coma what to do in case of overdose if you think you've taken too much of this drug, call your doctor. You can also call the American Association of Poison Control Centers at 800-222-1222 or use their online tool. But if your symptoms are severe, call 911 or go to the nearest emergency room right away. Prestique Interactions Prestique can interact with several other medications. It can also interact with certain supplements. Different interactions can cause different effects. For instance, some interactions can interfere with how well a drug works. Other interactions can increase side effects or make them more severe. Prestique and other medications below are lists of medications that can interact with Prestique. These lists do not contain all the drugs that may interact with Prestique. Before taking Prestique, talk with your doctor and pharmacist. Tell them about all prescription, over-the-counter, and other drugs you take. Also tell them about any vitamins, herbs, and supplements you use. Sharing this information can help you avoid potential interactions. If you have questions about drug interactions that may affect you, ask your doctor or pharmacist. Prestique and Linezolid or Methylene Blue Do not take Prestique if you are receiving treatment with Linezolid, Zyvox, or Methylene Blue, Prove Blue. Taking Prestique with these drugs increases your risk of a serious side effect called serotonin syndrome. 
This is a dangerous condition caused by high levels of a brain chemical called serotonin in your body. Pristique, linezolid, and methylene blue can all raise your level of serotonin. When these drugs are taken together, your level of serotonin may be raised even higher. If you need treatment with either linezolid or methylene blue, you'll first need to stop taking Pristique. Your doctor will monitor you closely for signs of serotonin syndrome. You can start taking Pristique again 24 hours after your last dose of linezolid or methylene blue. Pristique and MAOI antidepressants taking Pristique with a monoamine oxidase inhibitor, MAOI, increases your risk of a serious side effect called serotonin syndrome. This is a dangerous condition caused by having high levels of a brain chemical called serotonin in your body. MAOIs are a class of antidepressants. A class of drugs is a group of medications that act in a similar way. MAOIs and Pristique both increase levels of serotonin in your body. Don't take Pristique if you've taken an MAOI in the past 14 days. Don't take an MAOI until at least 7 days have passed since you've stopped taking Pristique. Examples of MAOI antidepressants that should not be taken with Pristique include phenylzine, nardolisocarboxazide, marplantranylcypramine, parnitzalegiline, MSAM Pristique, and other antidepressants. Taking Pristique with certain other antidepressants can increase your risk of serotonin syndrome. This is a dangerous condition caused by high levels of a brain chemical called serotonin in your body. Pristique and certain other antidepressants all work by raising your levels of serotonin. Examples of other antidepressants that can increase your risk of serotonin syndrome if taken with Pristique include the following. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs, such as fluoxetine, Prozac peroxetine, Paxil. Pixiva, Brisdel sertraline, Zoloft, other serotonin norepinephrine, reuptake inhibitors, SNRIs, besides Pristique, such as Duloxetine, Cymbalta venlafaxine, Effects or XR tricyclic antidepressants, such as Amitriptyline desipramine, Norpermin Tofranil taking SSRIs or other SNRIs with Pristique also raises your risk of bleeding problems. Talk with your doctor about the medications you're taking with Pristique. Your doctor can help make sure the drugs you're taking are safe to be used together. Pristique and lithium taking Pristique with lithium, lithobid, can increase your risk of serotonin syndrome. This is a dangerous condition that results when levels of a brain chemical called serotonin get too high in your body. Pristique and lithium both increase your levels of serotonin. If you're taking lithium, talk with your doctor before you start taking Pristique. They may recommend different treatment options for you. Pristique and buspirone Taking Pristique with buspirone can increase your risk of serotonin syndrome. This is a dangerous condition that results from high levels of a brain chemical called serotonin inside your body. Both Pristique and Buspirone can increase your levels of serotonin. If you're taking Buspirone for anxiety, talk with your doctor before you start taking Pristique. They may recommend that you take a different drug to treat your anxiety. Pristique and certain drugs for migraine taking tryptan medications with Pristique could increase your risk of a serious side effect called serotonin syndrome. This is a dangerous condition that occurs when levels of a brain chemical called serotonin get too high in your body. Tryptan medications and Pristique both increase your levels of serotonin. Tryptan medications are used to treat migraine and cluster headaches. Examples of tryptan medications that increase your risk for serotonin syndrome if taken with Pristique include Almatryptan, Axertalatryptan, Relpax Frovatryptan. Frovenerotriptan, Amertrizotriptan, Maxaltzumatriptan, Imatrexolmatriptan, Zomig. If you're taking a tryptan medication, talk with your doctor before you start taking Pristique. They may recommend that you take a different drug to treat your headaches. 
Pristique and certain pain medications taking tramadol, Conzip, Ultram, or fentanyl, Duragesic, Subsis, Actic, others, with Pristique increases your risk of serious side effect called serotonin syndrome. This is a dangerous condition that results when levels of a brain chemical called serotonin get too high in your body. Pristique, fentanyl, and tramadol can all increase your serotonin levels. Tramadol and fentanyl are used to treat pain. If you're taking tramadol or fentanyl, talk with your doctor before you start taking Pristique. They may switch you to a different medication to treat your pain. Pristique and Adderall or other amphetamines taking amphetamine drugs, including Adderall, with Pristique increases your risk of a serious side effect called serotonin syndrome. This is a dangerous condition that occurs when levels of a brain chemical called serotonin get too high in your body. Both amphetamines and Pristique can increase your serotonin levels. Examples of amphetamine drugs that increase your risk of serotonin syndrome if taken with Pristique include amphetamine, Avicio, Adzenis, Dinavalamphetamine and Dextroamphetamine, Adderall, Midas Dextroamphetamine, Dexedrine Methamphetamine, Dazoxin If you're taking an amphetamine drug, talk with your doctor before you start taking Pristique. They may recommend that you use a different medication while you're taking Pristique. Pristique and anti-inflammatory drugs taking a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, NSAID, with Pristique can increase your risk of bleeding problems. Taking these drugs together particularly increases your risk of bleeding in your stomach and intestines. Examples of NSAIDs that increase your risk of bleeding if taken with Pristique include aspirin ibuprofen, Advil, Ibutab, Motrin ketoprofen diclofenac, Zorbilex, Zips or naproxen, Aleve, naproxen If you're taking an NSAID, talk with your doctor before you start taking Pristique. They may recommend different treatment options for you. If you do happen to take an NSAID with Pristique, tell your doctor right away if you have unusual bruising or bleeding. You should call your doctor right away if you have any blood in your vomit or stools. Pristique and anticoagulant Blood thinning, drugs anticoagulant drugs are taken to treat or prevent blood clots. Taking Pristique with an anticoagulant drug can increase your risk of bleeding problems. Examples of anticoagulant drugs that increase your risk of bleeding problems if taken with Pristique include Apixaban, Eliquistabigadran, Pradaxa edoxaban, Savasa rivaroxaban, Xarelto warfarin, Coumadin if you're taking an anticoagulant, talk with your doctor before you start taking Pristique. You may need extra monitoring for abnormal bleeding while you're taking the drugs together. Tell your doctor right away if you have any unusual bruising or bleeding. Pristique and diuretics If you take a diuretic medication with Pristique, you may have a higher risk of hyponatremia, low level of sodium in your blood. Diuretic medications help your body to lose excess fluid. These drugs can sometimes cause your sodium level to drop. Pristique can also have this effect in your body. Examples of diuretic medications that increase your risk for hyponatremia include vendroflumathiazide, naturet and furosemide, lasix hydrochlorothiazide. If you're taking a diuretic medication, talk with your doctor before you start taking Pristique. You may need blood tests to monitor your sodium level. Also, be sure to tell your doctor if you have any symptoms of low blood sodium. Symptoms of hyponatremia may include headache, a difficulty concentrating, memory problems, confusion, feeling weak or unsteady on your feet, Pristique and herbs and supplements. Certain herbs and supplements may interact with Pristique. You should talk with your doctor or pharmacist about any herbs or supplements you're taking with Pristique. Pristique and St. John's Wort you shouldn't take straight. John's Wort, also called Hypericum perforatum, with Pristique. Taking this herb with Pristique raises your risk of a serious side effect called serotonin syndrome. 
Serotonin syndrome is a dangerous condition that can occur if levels of a brain chemical called serotonin get too high in your body. Both St. John's Wort and Pristique can raise your serotonin levels. Pristique and tryptophan You shouldn't take tryptophan supplements with Pristique. Doing this increases your risk of a serious side effect called serotonin syndrome. This is a dangerous condition that occurs if levels of a brain chemical called serotonin get too high in your body. Both tryptophan and Pristique can raise your serotonin levels. Common questions about Pristique Here are answers to some frequently asked questions about Pristique. Will I feel high if I take Pristique? No, taking Pristique won't make you instantly feel happy or feel high. This drug works over time to correct the chemical imbalances in your brain that are causing your depression. Taking Pristique improves your depression symptoms over a period of time and helps you get back to feeling like your old self. Is Pristique a controlled substance? No, Pristique isn't a controlled substance. Controlled substances are drugs that are prescribed and dispensed under federal laws. These laws help ensure that certain drugs are safely given to people because these drugs can sometimes be misused. Pristique belongs to a class of antidepressants called serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, SNRIs. Antidepressants don't produce effects that make them likely to be misused, so they're not controlled substances. Can I take Xanax for anxiety if I'm taking Pristique? Yes, you can take Xanax, Alprazolam, to treat anxiety while you're taking Pristique if recommended by your doctor. However, if you find that Pristique makes you feel sleepy, taking Xanax will likely make this worse. You shouldn't drive or operate machines until you know how the combination of drugs affects you. I've noticed what looks like a pill in my stool. Does this mean I didn't get my full dose of Pristique? The shell, outer covering, of Pristique tablets can pass through your digestive tract without being digested, broken down. This is normal, and you may see the tablet's shell in your stool. Don't worry though, because your full dose of Pristique will have been absorbed into your body. Pristique in pregnancy Pristique hasn't been studied in pregnant women. However, there have been studies looking at a very similar antidepressant, called venlafaxine, when taken by pregnant women. Venlafaxine is metabolized, broken down, by your liver. One of the chemicals made in this process is called desvenlafaxine. This chemical is the active drug in Pristique. Taking Pristique during pregnancy could have similar effects in your body as taking venlafaxine does. Risks of Pristique use during pregnancy Clinical studies have shown that women taking venlafaxine during pregnancy may have an increased risk of developing preeclampsia. With this condition, you develop high blood pressure during or shortly after your pregnancy. Women taking venlafaxine near delivery may also have an increased risk of bleeding during delivery or after they have given birth. Studies have also shown that babies born to mothers who are taking venlafaxine or Pristique may be at risk for certain complications when they're born. These complications may include problems with breathing, feeding, maintaining body temperature, re-regulating blood sugar. However, it's important to know that untreated depression during pregnancy can also lead to serious consequences for both the mother and baby. If you're pregnant or plan to become pregnant, talk with your doctor about the possible risks and benefits of taking Pristique during pregnancy. What you can do if you get pregnant while you're taking Pristique. Let your doctor know as soon as possible. It's important that you don't suddenly stop taking Pristique. Doing this can cause withdrawal symptoms. See the section Pristique Withdrawal above. If you do take Pristique during pregnancy, talk with your doctor about participating in the Pregnancy Exposure Registry. This registry follows pregnant mothers taking antidepressants and their babies.
The registry can help identify effects that may occur when antidepressants are used during pregnancy. This knowledge can help other pregnant women make informed decisions when they're deciding whether or not to take an antidepressant. Prestique and birth control It's not known if Prestique is safe to take during pregnancy. If you're sexually active, and you or your partner can become pregnant, talk with your doctor about your birth control needs while you're using Prestique. Prestique and breastfeeding Prestique may pass into breast milk in small amounts. One small study did not find any unwanted effects in breastfed children whose mothers were taking Prestique. However, larger studies are needed to know for sure whether it's safe to use Prestique while breastfeeding. Not much is known about how Prestique could affect children who are breastfeeding. Talk with your doctor about the best way to feed your child while you're taking Prestique. Prestique cost is with all medications. The cost of Prestique can vary. To find current prices for Prestique in your area, check out GoodRx.com, Prestique 50 mg tablets, KT, 30, $36 GoodRx fair price The cost you find on GoodRx.com is what you may pay without insurance. The actual price you'll pay depends on your insurance plan, your location, and the pharmacy you use. Financial and insurance assistance if you need financial support to pay for Prestique, or if you need help understanding your insurance coverage, help is available. Pfizer Incorporated, the manufacturer of Prestique, offers a savings card that may help lower the cost of Prestique. For more information and to find out if you're eligible for support, call 855-440-6852 or visit the program website. The manufacturer also offers a program called Pfizer Rx Pathways, which can help you understand your insurance coverage of the drug and give you more information on financial assistance. You can learn more by visiting the program website or calling 844-989-PATH, 844-989-7284. How to take Prestique You should take Prestique according to your doctor or healthcare provider's instructions. When to take You should take Prestique once each day. You can take it at any time of the day, but try to stick to the same time each day. To help make sure that you don't miss a dose, try setting a reminder on your phone. A medication timer may be useful, too. Taking Prestique with food You can take Prestique with or without food. Can Prestique be crushed, split, or chewed? No you should swallow Prestique tablets whole with something to drink. Don't crush, break, chew, or dissolve the tablets. Prestique is an extended release tablet. It's made to release the medication slowly as the tablet passes through your system. If you damage the tablet by crushing, Splitting, dissolving, or chewing it, you'll stop the extended release design from working properly. How Prestique works Prestique is approved to treat major depressive disorder, MDD, in adults. This condition is also called depression. What depression does when you have depression? The levels of certain chemicals in your brain have become unbalanced. These chemicals are called neurotransmitters. They include serotonin and norepinephrine. Neurotransmitters help pass messages between the nerve cells in your brain. Serotonin and norepinephrine are involved in passing messages that help regulate your mood and behavior. With depression, the nerve cells in your brain release less serotonin and norepinephrine than usual. What Prestique does Prestique belongs to a class of antidepressants called serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, SNRIs. A class of medications is a group of drugs that work in a similar way. SNRIs work by increasing the levels of serotonin and norepinephrine in your brain. Over time, this can improve your symptoms of depression. 
Pristique is not intended to change your personality or make you instantly feel happy. Instead, it's meant to work over a period of time to correct the chemical imbalances that play a role in causing your depression symptoms. How long does it take to work? It can take two to four weeks for Pristique to begin working and for you to start feeling better. You may notice that problems with your appetite, sleep, and concentration start to improve before your mood begins to change. It's important to keep taking Pristique, even if you feel like it's not making much of a difference at first. Treatment may take several months before you feel that your depression symptoms have resolved. You should visit your healthcare provider regularly during treatment, especially when you've just started Pristique. Talk with your doctor if you feel like your depression has gotten worse with Pristique. Let them know right away if you have any disturbing changes in your thoughts, feelings, or behavior after starting the drug. Pristique precautions This drug comes with several precautions. FDA warning, suicidal thoughts and behaviors This drug has a boxed warning. This is the most serious warning from the Food and Drug Administration, FDA. A boxed warning alerts doctors and patients about drug effects that may be dangerous. Antidepressants, including Pristique, increase the risk of suicidal thoughts and actions in some children and young adults under 25 years of age. This risk is more likely to be increased during the first few months after starting an antidepressant and after any dose changes. Pristique is not approved for use in children under 18 years of age. While taking Pristique, call your doctor right away if you feel that your depression is getting worse. Have sudden changes in your mood, feelings, thoughts, or behavior. Shave thoughts about dying or harming yourself. Treat to harm yourself or attempt suicide. Other precautions before taking Pristique. Talk with your doctor about your health history. Pristique may not be right for you if you have certain medical conditions or other factors affecting your health. These include an allergy to venlafaxine, Effexor, or desvenlafaxine. You shouldn't take Pristique if you're allergic to desvenlafaxine, the drug in Pristique, or venlafaxine, a drug very similar to Pristique. Talk with your doctor about any medication allergies before you start taking Pristique. High blood pressure. Taking Pristique can increase your blood pressure. If you have high blood pressure, you may need to take medication to treat it before you take Pristique. Your doctor will check your blood pressure regularly while you're taking Pristique. If your blood pressure increases, you may need treatment for it. If your blood pressure remains high on treatment, your doctor may need to lower your dose of Pristique. They may also recommend that you take a different antidepressant, heart disease. Taking Pristique can raise your blood pressure, which could worsen heart disease you may have. Your doctor will check your blood pressure on a regular basis while you're taking Pristique. Talk with your doctor about any history of heart or blood pressure problems before starting Pristique. Stroke or mini stroke. Taking Pristique can raise your blood pressure, which could increase your risk of having a stroke if you've had one in the past. Tell your doctor if you have a history of stroke or blood pressure problems. Your doctor will check your blood pressure regularly while you're taking Pristique. Bipolar disorder, manic depression, mania, or hypomania. If you or someone you are closely related to have ever had these mental health problems, Pristique may not be safe for you. If antidepressants are used alone in people with bipolar disorder, the drugs can increase your risk of having a manic episode. Pristique is not approved to treat bipolar depression. Before starting Pristique, talk with your doctor about any mental health problems you've had in the past, epilepsy or other conditions that cause seizures. Seizures were reported in some people taking Pristique in clinical studies. Pristique hasn't been studied in people with epilepsy or a history of seizures. 
If you have these conditions, your doctor will recommend whether or not Pristique is safe for you to take. Tell your doctor if you have a history of seizures, of if you have more seizures than usual after starting Pristique. Bleeding problems. Pristique can increase your risk of bleeding. If you have any bleeding problems, your doctor will recommend whether or not Pristique is safe for you to use. Talk with your doctor about any history of bleeding problems. High levels of fats, such as cholesterol or triglycerides. Pristique can increase cholesterol or triglyceride levels in some people. If your levels are already high, you may need blood tests during Pristique treatment to make sure the condition is not getting worse. Talk with your doctor about any history of high cholesterol or triglycerides before you start taking Pristique. Low sodium levels. Pristique can lower blood sodium levels in some people. This is more likely in older people, ages 65 years and older and in people taking diuretic medications. Diuretics are drugs that help remove excess fluid from your body. They're sometimes called water pills. If your sodium level is already low, taking Pristique could lower it even further. If this happens, you may need to stop treatment. Before starting Pristique, talk with your doctor if you're taking a diuretic of if you've had low sodium levels. Kidney problems. If you have problems with your kidneys, your body may not be able to clear Pristique as well as it normally could. If you have moderate kidney problems, you shouldn't take more than 50 mg of Pristique per day. If you have severe kidney problems, you shouldn't take more than 25 mg of Pristique per day, or 50 mg every other day. Talk with your doctor about any kidney problems you've had before you start taking this drug. Liver problems. If you have problems with your liver, your body may not be able to clear Pristique as well from as it normally could. If you have moderate to severe liver problems, you shouldn't take more than 100 mg of Pristique each day. Talk with your doctor about any liver problems you've had before you start taking this drug. Pregnancy. Talk with your doctor about the risks and benefits of taking Pristique during pregnancy. For more information, please see the section Pristique in Pregnancy above. Breastfeeding Pristique may pass into human breast milk. For more information, please see the section Pristique in Breastfeeding above. Note, for more information about the potential negative effects of Pristique, see the Pristique side effects section above. Pristique expiration storage, and disposal when you get Pristique from the pharmacy, the pharmacist will add an expiration date to the label on the bottle. This date is typically one year from the date they dispense the medication. The expiration date helps guarantee the effectiveness of the medication during this time. The current stance of the Food and Drug Administration, FDA, is to avoid using expired medications. If you have unused medication that has gone past the expiration date, talk to your pharmacist about whether you might still be able to use it. Storage How long a medication remains good can depend on many factors, including how and where you store the medication. A steak tablet should be stored at room temperature in a tightly sealed container away from light. Pristique shouldn't be stored at a temperature higher than 86 degrees Fahrenheit, 30 degrees Celsius. Avoid storing this medication in areas where it could get damp or wet, such as in bathrooms. Disposal If you no longer need to take Pristique and have leftover medication, it's important to dispose of it safely. This helps prevent others, including children and pets, from taking the drug by accident. It also helps keep the drug from harming the environment. The FDA website provides several useful tips on medication disposal. You can also ask your pharmacist for information on how to dispose of your medication. 
Professional information for Prestique The following information is provided for clinicians and other healthcare professionals. Indications Prestique is approved to treat major depressive disorder in adults. Mechanism of action Prestique contains desvenlafaxine, the major active metabolite of the antidepressant venlafaxine. Desvenlafaxine is a serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitor, SNRI. The exact mechanism for how the drug works is not known. Pharmacokinetics and metabolism The bioavailability of desvenlafaxine is approximately 80% after oral intake of Prestique. Steady state is achieved after 4 to 5 days if dose once daily. Desvenlafaxine is 30% bound to plasma proteins. Desvenlafaxine is mainly cleared from the body by the kidneys as unchanged drug. A small amount of the drug is metabolized by hepatic conjugation and subsequently excreted in the urine. Maximum concentration, GMAX, and area under the curve, AUC, of desvenlafaxine are increased in people with moderate to severe hepatic and renal impairment. Drugs that affect CYP450 enzymes do not significantly affect the metabolism of desvenlafaxine. Desvenlafaxine does not inhibit or induce CYP450 enzymes. This drug is not a substrate or inhibitor of P-glycoprotein. Contraindications Prestique is contraindicated in people with an allergy to venlafaxine, desvenlafaxine or any of the excipients of pre-stock who have taken an MAOI for psychiatric indications in the last 14 days being treated with linezolid or methylene blue storage Prestique tablets should be stored at room temperature. They should not be stored at a temperature higher than 86 degrees Fahrenheit, 30 degrees Celsius. Disclaimer, Medical News Today has made every effort to make certain that all information is factually correct, comprehensive, and up-to-date. However, this article should not be used as a substitute for the knowledge and expertise of a licensed healthcare professional. You should always consult your doctor or other healthcare professional before taking any medication. The drug information contained herein is subject to change and is not intended to cover all possible uses, directions, precautions, warnings, drug interactions, allergic reactions, or adverse effects. The absence of warnings or other information for a given drug does not indicate that the drug or drug combination is safe, effective, or appropriate for all patients or all specific uses.